Hotwax Commerce masters an online order routing, but it also gives their users an option to manually release an order item to a facility of choice. This feature is generally used when the user does not want to wait for the brokering engine to run and wants to broker the order instantly to a facility of choice. In this demo video, I'll give you a quick walkthrough of how release item functionality actually works. To start with, we'll log into the Hotwax Commerce account and redirect to the sales order page. Here for the demo purpose, I have selected this order. The prerequisite for the release item button to show is to approve the order. We'll approve this order and here you will see that there is a release item button besides the order item details. I'll click on release item and I'll see this dialog box open. I'll share the details for every row and column individually in this video. To start with, there's a threshold row at the top of this table, which actually says if there is a threshold rule set for the product. The threshold rule is generally set at the company level and therefore this is shown as the first row. Now to start with the columns, the first column is the facility column. It lists down all the facilities that this product is kept at and is fulfilled from. The second column is allow brokering. It gives us the detail of which facilities allow brokering of orders and fulfills online orders. There might be certain facilities which do not fulfill online orders and it will be an N in that case and online orders will not be brokered to that location. Now this, the, uh, the third column here is OMS fulfillment which gives us the detail of whether that facility fulfill orders through Hotwax Commerce fulfillment application. It will be a N in the case that it does not fulfill orders from our native app. The next column is maximum orders. It gives us the detail of the number of orders that a facility can fulfill in a day. It shows the maximum number of orders. The next column is the order count, which is which shows the current amount of orders that are kept at that facility for fulfillment. This information helps in manual release so that we do not breach the max order limit. The next column is safety stock. It tells us that if the product is managed at a facility and if there is a safety stock at that facility. The next column is ATP, which shows the on current available to promise quantity for that product at that particular facility. So to release an item, we'll just click on uh, the button here and we'll just click on save. Now you will see that the ship from location has changed to central warehouse which is the new fulfillment location for this order item. This way a user can manually release an order item to a particular location for easy and quick fulfillment. For more information on Hotwax Common Order Management System, you can visit our website at hotwax.co or you can visit our forum that is forum.hotwax.io.